Now that we're in Munich, we are going to go on a city tour. Because we're staying on kind of the far east side of Munich, we are going to take a train into the big city. This is what I was imagining Germany to look like. So beautiful. Someone just as Santa Claus just gave us this. I wasn't paying attention because I was too taken back at all of the beautiful buildings surrounding us. They are so amazing. And I don't even know which buildings they are. Don't really care, they're just amazing. Okay, I definitely care, but I don't even know if these are, are like the important buildings that we should be caring about as tourists, but either way, I'm just loving just looking at them. We just walked through that main area, Marion Platz, and now we are going to go eat. This is just the entrance to a little shopping mall area, but I love how cute it is decorated. We had a little bit of a mask controversy. Apparently you have to wear these KN95s. We did not have them, and so when we went in to eat food, they said that we had to get the correct masks in order to eat there. But the workers did not have these masks, and some of the workers didn't even have masks on at all. So it doesn't really make any sense. There has to be a reason for that, and we're not sure why. Maybe I'll have to research that. If you know, tell us. We got a little bit of America and Germany. Our simple little 20 minute lunch turned into about an hour and a half detour. But now we're about to show you a bunch of cool buildings. cathedral called Frauenkirk, I believe that's how you pronounce it. It's just so massive, like it's insane. It's so deep, I didn't expect it when we came up on a different angle. It's just huge. I love just turning the corner and there's just like a new little square everywhere with like these cute little beer gardens everywhere we look. Right behind me here, we have a huge building that is a Bavarian war statue. The people here in Munich are very proud to be Bavarian, so this statue really kind of shows it. And I don't know if you guys can tell, but the lions are like huge. Like they're probably like three or four of me, maybe more. It's wild. I cannot believe how many massive churches are just around here. They're just so gigantic. They're huge. I don't even think you can tell in the video like how truly gigantic they are. So I think this is supposed to be a garden, but since we're here in winter, there's not really any uh, flowers or anything. It's called Hofgarten. Now we made it to the middle of Hofgarten. It's really cool because you have a really good view of like all of the city around. So we can see the big churches and just all these really old cool buildings. This is another giant building and this one has a museum inside of it. It used to be an old royal residence. This statue right here is of Max Joseph Platz. He was the king of Bavaria in the early 1800s. And for those of you who don't know, Bavaria is a region in southern Germany that used to be like its own kingdom until it was, I guess, acquired by Germany. And so now the people here call themselves Bavarians, but they also are Germans as well. And the building behind the statue 
I have no idea what it is because Google Maps is not loading and it won't tell me. Okay, I accidentally said that his name was Max Joseph Platz, but that's actually the name of the statue. We haven't quite figured out what these trains are, but they are really common here because they're driving around everywhere. This Chanel store is so beautiful. It has all these pretty lights on it. And it's just so interesting, all the new architecture versus all this old architecture here. This plaza is so stinking cute, and just to top it off, it has Starbucks, too. It's the nicest Starbucks I've ever seen. It just wouldn't be a new city without Hard Rock Cafe. We are back at Marion Platz where we first began, and when we first walked by this, I don't think that we paid enough to respect to what it actually is, because it is like one of the most famous places to see in Munich. And you can tell why. It's huge and beautiful and amazing, and it has this really cute Christmas tree. hope you enjoyed our Munich walking tour and you can just get a last second look of St. Peter's Church.